Welcome back to the Simply Create YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna be updating my social media profile picture. And I thought, whilst I'm doing it, why don't I try to help you update yours too? It's a new year, everyone says new me, but maybe just a new profile picture instead. I'm gonna talk to you about hints and tips, some do's and don'ts, and there'll be some tools for you to create your own profile picture. So if you wanna update yours, fresh new look, and to get some new eyes on your social media profile to help you, I've put all of the chapters in the description below. So feel free to pick which ones you want and skip ahead and watch those. Otherwise, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step changing and updating your social media profile. Let's start by talking about the dimensions you need for your photo. TikTok's minimum upload is 20 pixels by 20 pixels, but better to go for a larger size to future-proof. 170 by 170 for Facebook, 320 by 320 for Instagram, 400 by 400 pixels for Twitter and LinkedIn, 800 by 800 pixels for YouTube. I suggest going with 800 by 800 as this will cover you for no matter what platform you are uploading to. And I used 800 by 800 for Clubhouse. So I'm gonna do a screen share now of the free way that everybody can do no matter kind of what device you are using. We're going to be using Canva. Now you can do this kind of two ways. You can do this through your web browser. So that might be through Safari or Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever that is and go to Canva and log in. I've already downloaded the app, so I'm going to um, go through the app version. The first thing you need to do is log in. Once you've logged in, you're going to come to your home screen. It's going to show you all your designs uh, recommended for you, some bits and pieces. In the top corner, you're going to be able to see a button called Create Design. You want to hit that button and then it will give you some options. Now, when you're creating on Canva, you can pick loads of different templates, which is great. But for this particular version and to try and help you out um, using different bits and pieces, but also getting the best for uh, a broad range of social media profile pictures, you're going to click on custom dimension at the top next to the plus button. Once you've clicked on there, it's going to give you some options. Now, those options are width and height, and you can obviously change pixels. We're going to keep pixels, PX. Um, width, we're going to change and write in uh, 800. And height, we're going to write in 800 as well. And then we're going to cre create design, and you'll see your brand new canvas. From here, we want to do a couple of things. The first one will be we want to get our picture. Head over to, on the left-hand side, you've got templates, then below that you've got uploads. Click on uploads, um, and then from there you can go upload your media. I have already selected my media from my photo, so I'm picking that photo to put in there. Once I've picked it, I'm going to make sure I align my photo and use the entire frame. and Wait until it's fit. I am then going to go over to the left hand side again. What we're going to do is we're going to hit um, elements. You're going to want a shape and the shape you're going to want is a circle shape. Tap the circle um, to highlight it and we're going to make that as big as we can. And the reason we're doing this is so we can create an area that we can use as a reference point. Once you've made the circle big enough to fill the entire canvas, we're going to go right at the very top next to where it says position. Um, there's like a little checkered board that fades out. That's your transparency. So you head there, you tap on that, and you want to pull the transparency down. You, you don't want to go 100% all the way, but you want to put it to, so that you can see the circle, but also you can see whatever image you put in there. The reason we've done this is just so you can see what you'll be able to see once you upload this picture to your profile. Now, as you can see, my face fits in there really nicely, uh, and that's great. However, I don't want the background that I've actually given. So we're gonna to have to do something else. Now in Canva, if you pay for the pro version, you just need to head over to effects at the top of the image uh, and you've got re background remover. You tap on that and it'll get rid of your background for you, which is great. But if you're using the free version, we need to do another step. And here is the other step. Now for this, we're gonna get rid of the background. We're gonna do it for free. So what you wanna do is head to remove.bg in a new tab, new browser. Once you're at the homepage of remove BG, remove background, um, it's fairly self-explanatory. It says, 
upload image. So you wanna tap on that or click on that or what, whatever you need to do, whatever device you're using. It will then say, look at your library or you wanna find the image that you wanna use. So I'll find the same image that I was using before. I'll select that. It kinda of does and works its magic. And once it's done that, as you can see, there's the image with the no background. The background's gone. It's, there's this little checkered board. The checkered board means that that's a transparent background. It's see-through. There's nothing there. There's no detail there. Um, you then want to download that. So if you're on a computer, hit the download button, obviously. Tap uh, it onto the device and save it where you know. So the camera roll or into a folder that you prefer. Once you've saved it, we're going to head back over to Canva. Now that we're back in Canva, get rid of everything off of it. That was just me showing you if you want to upload an image that's kind of just set, standard, you've taken a great image or you found a great image and you want it included in any of the background. Now we're going to move on to if you want to uh, upload it with a bold coloured background or something different in the background of your profile image. First of all, we're going to tap on the canvas so it's highlighted blue around where it is currently. We're then gonna head over to the middle, but at the top, there's this like little color uh, box with different colors in it, blue, pink, green, yellow. We're gonna tap on that, and it's gonna, on the left-hand side, it's gonna bring up a menu of what colors that you want. So we're gonna pick orange, because that's the Simply Create color, and that's now my background. Now we're gonna add the image of me without the background. So we go over to um, Uploads, um, we hit Upload Media, but obviously there's the two that I have. The one with the background, one without. We now want the one without. We tap on that. We fill the canvas. Da, 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 da. Now, I already know that this image fits fine, but this is to help you so that if you don't know what would be in and what would be out of the circle that would be on all profiles, we go back over to elements. We tap on the circle. We make the circle as big as we can. And then there we have my image with an orange background, and we're just checking it with that um, circle. Once the circle's done and we don't want it anymore, we just tap it and delete it. Once we've deleted it, there's our image. So now we're at the stage where the profile image is ready. It's ready for us to save and then obviously upload onto whatever social media platform we want to. So if you go in the top corner, there's three icons. The one you want is with the arrow pointing downwards with a line underneath. If you hit that, it says preparing your image or your design and it's done. And this is saved it to my camera roll, um, but it will save it into your downloads or where, wherever you want it to save, I guess, or wherever, whatever device you're on, wherever the saved items and downloads normally go to. The other one that you can do is you can click the one with like a little half a document with the arrow up. If you hit that, you can then save as different presets or different things or to different, different places. Depending on what you want to do, obviously I showed you the easy way, just hit the download button. So now we're going to upload this image, my brand new profile image onto Instagram. Okay, so first thing you wanna do, open up your Instagram app. Uh, and then you have five options on the bottom. Uh, you want the one in the bottom right hand corner, which should be a picture of maybe you or your logo. Hit that. Um, then on that screen, you have just below like all your writing, the numbers and the writing, you have edit profile button. Hit that button. Once you hit that button, you'll have a picture of you and more writing. And then just below the picture of you or your logo, so say change profile photo, hit that. Then you have some options. Um, you can remove the one, import a picture, take a picture. Uh, and I suggest choose from your library. So you would have had to have moved that image onto your phone. Um, hit that, pick the photo you want and hit done. From here, you can save it, hit done and your profile image will update. Now, I'm gonna go and update all of my social media platforms with my new profile image. Um, hopefully it'll give it a fresh new look and create some consistency across all of the platforms uh, so people know it's me when I'm posting. You can let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. I'll be happy to help. If you've liked it or found it helpful with the free version or some of the hints and tips, then please don't forget to tap -ity tap 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 that like button. And as always, from Simply Create, thank you for watching. Thank you.